Hey y'all, it's Robin, and I went to buy, no, I went to buy nothing. I went to return a couple of shirts at Target because I bought three t-shirts, one, you know, it just ended up being too tight. I can never get a, a t-shirt I'm happy with. Um, oh my God, my life is so hard. I took two back and I thought, victory, you know, I'm not spending, I am returning. But then I walked around and my nearby Target finally has e.l.f. products um, and they have not had them before. I've been hearing a lot about e.l.f. products so uh, it happened. I picked up this um, natural minerals foundation. It comes with the little uh, minerals case, the lid, and a brush. It was five dollars. I bought um, Fair because Goss makeup artist here on YouTube was doing this contouring video where he showed um, putting light concealer here and then a light powder under that and trying to get you know that awesome drag queen contour that you know we all want. So I don't have my drag queen hair anymore, but I might try the contour. I also bought this e.l.f. eye set, which is two primers um, in these two different colors and a mascara because I really needed more mascara. It was $5 and those are the two e.l.f. products I thought I would try. Then I was walking around, I thought it's time to replace my um, lip smackers with SPF and I bought this. It's an SPF of 24 and we go to the lake um, all summer out in the sun all day and I reapplied this um, all day. And so, time to replace that. You do realize that SPF um, expires and if you're still using something that's a couple of years old, it's not really protecting you. Even if it's a year old, I think it's a good idea to move on. Speaking of moving on, um, I went around the corner then and in my constant quest for a lotion with SPF, I uh, had bought the uh, Garnier Beauty Balm, which I think of as a tinted moisturizer, kind of a one-stop um, moisturizer, tint, and SPF. And it is too oily for me. I'm wearing it today, but when I get in the sun, this just looks really heavy right here, and this is my um, unforgiving area of my face if things don't work well. So um, that's too heavy. I found this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Glow Shears Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer with an SPF of 30, which is a lot. Um, and I bought, uh, let's see, light, it's fair slash light. And here's what I did. I got a tip from um, a YouTube video that said if you're trying, you're trying to pick a shade, use something that already works for you as a template. So I used the um, uh, L'Oreal N3 color for, which is good for me, and hold it up to see what other color. I might try, which feels a little like cheating, like you're comparing something you already love to something you, you know, you hope you even love better. It's like looking over your shoulder and not committing, isn't it? But I did uh, thought I would try this. I don't know why. I have a, um, a, a not a great experience with Neutrogena products. I used to use a lot of the skincare, and for some reason, I just it seemed too harsh after a certain amount of time. And just a few other Neutrogena products I've tried, I ended up not wanting to rebuy. However, I have this idea that they're good products, so I, um, I don't know. We'll try. I want a tinted moisturizer. That would be great. Just kind of one swoop and you're done. I'll try it. It was in the neighborhood of $10 or so, which I think is a little pricey. However, I really wanted to try the Jouer. I called it Jouer. I don't know, yeah, a little sample I got that's a tinted moisturizer. It was a sample I got from my February Birch Box, and I really like it. The color is wrong. Thought I would buy the full size, but I think it's about $38, so, you know, I'll try this. Then, um, a YouTube video, Lisa Eldridge, which I recommend highly. She's English. She's a 
true makeup artist. She really works on Vogue shoots and so forth. Um, and she's English and just it, her accent is great. She'll do her own face and she just transforms from this kind of, I don't know, just be, to, into just clean, fresh beauty once she's finished applying her makeup. It's wonderful anyway. She actually uses, you know, really high-end products because she's really a makeup artist. She uses, you know, MAC and Dior and things I have not heard of as well. But she used one of these Boots Number no. 7 brand uh, cheek tints. I only ever use um, powder blush. When I was a kid, mother called blush rouge. They didn't even call it blush then. They were all um, cream and they were difficult to apply so I've been unwilling to try one. But I thought I would try this. She had developed a color for them that was called I believe pink rose. No, pink silk. I don't know if she worked on this color but I bought peach silk which is very um, compared to the rose, there's not a lot of difference, but I find that I have more yellow in my skin than I think I do. So I thought I would try that. It's in the neighborhood of eight or nine dollars. I'm a big fan of Milani products, and Emily Noel was talking about some big bronzer she has, and I think it might be Laura Mercier, but it's like a huge bronzer, and she uses it. She does news cast, she's an anchor person, and she puts the bronzer on her neck so that her face matches her neck. And I thought, me too. <laughs> and I don't even really use bronzers, but I found this Milani. It's just this monster package. Look, it's like the size of my head practically. If I do this, it is the size of my head. I mean, who wouldn't buy that, right? Oh, and it gets smaller. Look at that. Grover did this exact... Um, perspective kind of video on on Sesame Street um, he his was really cuter this is bronzer XL all over glow it's a new product from them I got the 01 shade Milani is a multicultural uh, brand and so they have they really lean toward pretty dark shades for dark skin but um, uh, I so I get the their light colors work for me this is 01 Bronze Glow, and you see it's just this monstrous thing, and I just have this, I had this idea that I would just kabuki myself into some kind of tan, whereas I really like my light skin, I like my tan skin, I, whatever, but I also found the multitasker um, powder, and I thought I would give that a try, it's a finishing powder, you can use it uh, I guess it's multitask. It's a powder. You know, you know what to do with a powder. Not too difficult. But I love Milani. They're very good quality products. The packaging is really good and feels um, high end, expensive. And this one is medium, and it has this beautiful um, lace texture to the top of it, which is just you know, a really silly reason to buy a powder. However, wanted to try it, and now I have $55 worth of new makeup. Um, and the reason I'm even making this or any video is I always talked, I always talked to my mother about um, everything I bought, everything I bought. If I bought a pair of shoes, if I bought apples. I mean, that's what we talked about. Very close. We did a lot of our shopping together, and even when we would get home, we would open up everything we bought and look at it again and sometimes try it on, and we just enjoyed. We didn't shop a lot. We're not really huge shoppers. I don't live to shop. Oh, God, it looks like I do. But I mean, we just had a good time doing that. And then when she got to where she couldn't shop with me anymore, I would often go to her house and I'd do my shopping by her house so I could take my bags in and show her. And she would just be as tickled as a little kid to see what I bought. And I lost my mother about 10 months ago. And uh, I just, I don't have anyone to talk about this silliness with and so I really you know I miss that I, I just miss that and that's why I can't wait to when I come home and buy something to make one of these videos so that even if nobody watches this I watch it back and it kinda makes me feel like I'm 
I don't know. I'm sharing it like I used to. So anyway, um, I, I hope you understand what I mean and you, you like to watch what people buy. I mean, I don't know why I want you to like that, but anyway, I, I do. And uh, that is all I have to say. Thank you so much for your time. I, I really appreciate it. I, I need it. Thank you. Bye.